In part three, we're going to configure and execute the inHibernate functionality and bind the output to a data grid view. We're going to add, add the using statements. We're going to configure the inHibernate properties. And we're going to execute and bind it to a data grid view. Let's go open our form. And let's add our usings. Using in Hibernate. Using in Hibernate dot config CFG. And then we'll do using in Hibernate dot bytecode, the one with the capital C dot castle. And we're also gonna need using system dot collections for our list. So like we said, in lesson three, we use a disconnected data set uh, to populate our grid view. So we don't need this code anymore, so let's comment that out. And then we're going to add our new code here. Let's start by uh, typing config configuration. Config equals new configuration and I session factory factory now let's set our in hibernate properties so we'll go config dot set property open in hibernate dot config dot event environment sorry dot connection provider comma quotes in hibernate dot connection dot driver connection provider config dot set property in hibernate dot config dot environment dot dialect in in hibernate dot dialect dot m s sql two thousand eight d i a l a c t config dot set property in hibernate dot config dot environment dot connection driver in in hibernate dot driver dot sql client driver config dot set property in hibernate dot config sorry dot environment dot connection string comma and you can go get this out of the app config file and you can cut and cut and paste it there I'll do that in a in a moment and then we'll do config dot set property in hibernate dot config dot environment dot proxy factory factory class in hibernate bytecode dot castle proxy factory factory comma in hibernate dot byte code dot castle let's go config dot add assembly 
and our assembly name is lesson three we never changed it quick note you can go and right click on your project and click properties and it'll show you the assembly name and which dotnet framework we this application is configured to use let's go factory equals config dot build session factory I'm going to go i session session equals null and let's go into our try catch Don't expect one of these, but never hurts. And session equals factory dot open session and then where the magic happens data grid view dot data source equals session dot create criteria type of lesson nine dot company dot list I made a typo. If you go look on the uh, on the dialect uh, property, I it is case sensitive, so I need to change this to SQL lowercase, and I have this I capitalized. So it's case sensitive, and you need to really watch out what you're typing here. So let's run it and watch in Hibernate populate our grid view. In conclusion, we reused from Lesson 3 and the prerequisites. We installed and configured the nHibernate binaries. We created a company class and the nHibernate XML file. And we configured and executed the nHibernate properties and bound it to a data grid view.